Hey everyone, I'm Hoop Smiles, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hula hoop with a weighted hula hoop and show you some weighted hula hoop techniques. Also, I wanna show you some things in this video that I don't recommend that you do that could prevent you from hula hooping successfully. First off, there are a bunch of different weighted hoops out there, especially if you're gonna use one of the heavier hoops out there. I do recommend that you go to your doctor and check in with your doctor first because some people have been injured using weighted hula hoops. Now, something to consider when using weighted hoops versus just using uh, regular dance hoops to learn how to hula hoop with is if you're going to use a regular dance hoop, typically I would tell people you don't want to wear uh, too much clothing or very little clothing at all just because I feel like you can get the greatest amount of grip. But because these are heavier hoops, if you wear less clothing, especially if you bruise easy, you might uh, encounter some bruising if you use these heavier weighted hoops for too long. So for some of you out there, you may want to consider wearing some extra padded clothing over your abdominal area to help with or prevent bruising from occurring. All right, so let's go ahead and get to some hula hooping. So go ahead and take your weighted hoop right here. And what you're going to do is we're first going to get into the stance. So the stance that I recommend that you do is put one foot in front of you. It doesn't matter which foot you want to put in front of you. I would recommend even trying both feet because eventually when you get better with your hula hooping skills, you're going to want to be able to move around and do all this stuff because it can be a lot of fun to dance with your hoop. So at this point, it doesn't matter which foot you, you put forward, but go ahead and just put one foot slightly in front of you just like this. And the key here is the motion uh, when hula hooping is kind of like a rocking back and forth motion. And you're gonna basically rock from your core. And another thing too is you really want to flex, flex those abs, you know, activate the abs because that's really going to help you keep that hoop up, okay? So you got that one foot in front of you and then you're going to basically just put that hoop right on the back. Now the part of the back is kind of like the lower but slightly upper part of that lower back is where you're going to make contact and you're gonna firmly put it on your back like so. And then basically what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, just kind of wind your hoop up and you're going to give it a nice big spin around your body while you rock back and forth. Okay, now when you are uh, standing with your feet, something that's really important is you want to point both toes forward. I notice some people have a tendency, they want to, you know, slide their foot and point it to the side like this. Try to avoid that, but point both to uh, toes forward uh, while you are hula hooping. Also, it's really important that you stand up straight, okay? Avoid this slouching. And also, when you are rocking back and forth, avoid trying to rock from your shoulders like this. Because if you do this, there's a chance that your hoop will just fall down. Instead, when you are doing your rocking motion, you are rocking from your abdominal area, your core area. And your feet, pretty much for the most part, should be flat on the ground. Also, that first spin is really important. Okay, so once something that you want to avoid is doing a diagonal spin where you go like this, you know, that's likely to make the hoop fall down. So you wanna make sure that that first spin, when you wind it up and then you spin it, is parallel with the ground, okay? And you need to have a nice, firm spin for that first spin, okay? Because if you just do a really light kind of spin like that, you know, the hoop may just start falling. Also, too, Really make sure that you are moving your body at that core section, okay? See how I'm just kind of rocking back and forth? And I'm rocking from here, okay? This is the key, rock from here and not from your shoulders. When you're spinning that hoop, a good spot to maintain it on your body is kind of around that belly button area. So here is sort of that belly button area on my body. So try to keep the hoop at that spot. Because oftentimes, uh, especially if you're a beginner out there, if it starts to go down, you know, it's, it's likely the hoop is probably gonna fall to the ground if it goes below that area. Uh, but there are some ways to save the hoop from falling. You know, if it starts to do that, you can try ducking a little bit. Also, spin the hoop faster, okay? If the hoop starts to fall, just kind of do those motions, that rocking back and forth motion faster. Now, before we move on in this video, I wanna ask a couple questions. 
One being, what are you most challenged with when it comes to hula hooping? And number two, what do you want to get out of hula hooping? What do you want to learn? Go down to the comments section of this video and please let me know. And when you do go down to the comments section, please don't hesitate to ask me your hooping questions as well, because I may be able to respond to your comment with some tips and advice that can help you out. Now back to the hoop lesson. Now for some of the beginners out there, if your hoop is still falling, something that you may need to do to keep the hoop up is to over exaggerate that rocking back and forth movement. You know, really rock back and forth to keep that hoop up. Uh, as you watch me uh, hula hoop like this, as you notice, you know, my body is barely moving. You know, as you get better, hopefully you'll get to this point too, where it takes very little body movement to keep the hoop up. But in the very beginning, you may have to over exaggerate exaggerate that movement. Now to this point in the video, if you still can't spin the hoop after the tips that I've given you, there's a likelihood that you do not have the correct hoop size. Oftentimes adults will need much larger hoops in order to be able to hula hoop around their bodies. So uh, the hoop that I have right here, this hoop, you know, comes up almost to about my waist size, but some people may need a hoop that comes all the way up to their chest, maybe even higher than that. So that may be something that you need if you're still struggling to this point in the video because I can teach you all the tips and techniques in the world but if you don't have the right hoop size I mean what does it matter because you got to have the right hoop size first in order to apply those techniques effectively. Now, once you're able to spin your hoop in one direction I do recommend that you practice spinning your hoop in the other direction as well. All right, so moving right along. So I showed you how to do the rocking back and forth stance like so. This is a great hula hoop stance for the beginners to start learning in. But now I wanna show you another stance. I want you to place your feet now about shoulder width apart like so. And in this stance, I wanna see you kind of rock side to side to keep the hoop up. So try that. So now try rocking sort of side to side to keep that hoop up. Now really what I'm training you here for is to be able to do these different stances so eventually you can move your body like so like this because this is when hula hoop dancing gets really really fun and this is something you can do with a weighted hoop put it into your weighted hoop workout routine is to dance with your hoop so let's try that again so stand in that shoulder with stance like so uh, and really just try to focus on moving side to side to keep that hoop up now, once you've mastered the shoulder width stance, now I want you to go ahead and try putting your feet together like this. Now, while you do this, really make sure to still flex those abs to help keep that hoop up. And once you have your feet together like this and you feel pretty comfortable, then I want you to go between the different stances. So go ahead and go to shoulder width again. Maybe go back to your feet together and then maybe try switching between rocking back and forth and then back to feet together. So move between the different stances. Uh, doing this will help promote that movement. Like I said, we want to eventually get to that point where you can you know, move with your hoop. So try those different stances out. Now that I've showed you some of the basic stances out there, I wanna see you move even more with your hoop. So go ahead and practice stepping forward and then also stepping backwards, okay? So what you may need to do if you're really struggling to keep the hoop up is just try one step at a time, okay? And then one step backwards. And then just get comfortable with this. And as you get better, then you can eventually start walking with your hoop. Okay, that is really the key is to be able to walk with your hoop. And if you're able to walk with your hoop and also to try this in both directions, because you want to be able to walk with your hoop in both directions. Okay, and once you're able to do that, that's something fun that you can do. You can go outside and practice walking around. I also recommend that you practice your side stepping. So step to one side and then step to the other. And as you get better, I recommend trying to do this much quicker you know, going to both sides. Now, along with uh, being able to walk while hula hooping, I also recommend that you practice spinning in your hoop as well. Okay, so you can spin the same direction that your hoop spins. I feel like this is the easiest way to do that. Now, if you're struggling with doing a uh, complete circle, maybe only do a partial circle, you know, do what you need to do uh, until you can finally get all the way around and keep practicing that so you get better. Also try the other direction as well. Okay. This other direction might be a little bit harder. Sometimes it can make it 
feel like the hoop is spinning much faster around the body. Really, once again, you know, doing these little movements, I, I feel like if you can master those, it's gonna just get you one step closer to doing sort of that dance workout routine with your weighted hoops. Now, if you are still struggling to keep the hoop up, I do recommend going down to the comments section of this video and just let me know what's going on because I may be able to reply to your comment and offer you some advice and I may be able to help you out. Now, if you're still struggling with learning how to hula hoop around your waist, I do have a bunch of other hula hoop tutorials on my channel, so I do recommend checking out my channel and checking out some of those other videos. Also, if you're interested in learning some weighted hula hoop exercises that you can do with your weighted hoop, I have a nice little weighted hoop workout video that you can check out on my channel as well. And if you wanna hop over to some of my hula hoop videos, I put some video links in the description of this video as well. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed my weighted hula hoop tips and techniques. Until next time, enjoy everyone.